Silex Software's MP Studio simplifies the creation, deployment, and ongoing management of Operations Manager management packs. The store database is at the root and contains a backup copy of all your unsealed management packs. The backup can be scheduled. You can also archive or manage versions of any line of business management packs you're authoring using MP Author. MP Studio allows you to register multiple management groups. Here you can work with management packs online. Right click on a management pack to view reference tree, contents, initiate documentation, manage overrides, compare management packs, and even test management packs. You can work with management packs offline thus avoiding any risk of generating alerts. Use the reference tree to simplify the analysis of relationships and drill down to the contents of key elements such as rules and monitors. Customize the grid in order to make it easy to find just the rules or monitors you wish to work with. Right click on any element and you can begin managing overrides, creating knowledge, or even documenting. Use the export to Excel toolbar button to simply document the currently viewed table. Right click on the root of the management pack and you can even schedule documentation. This automation supports publishing to a file folder or configuring email subscription so all stakeholders including management can receive a copy of the management pack. Document to HTML or to Excel workbook. The Excel workbook is very clear and concise containing an individual sheet for each element. The summary shows all the reference management packs. Scrolling over we can see the key elements such as monitors displaying each monitor along with any associated overrides that have been configured. This makes it easy to analyze the configuration of your management pack. Here are the rules with their associated overrides. To create overrides, select the element and right click. You can create overrides in bulk. Here we're selecting five monitors and each of those contains all of these properties. In other words, MP Studio exposes the common properties in bulk override management. In essence, we're creating six properties times five monitors. In other words, up to 30 overrides are being created or modified simultaneously. As a best practice, always check in copies of your management packs into the database. This will allow you to generate an audit history which can also be scheduled. We'll take a look at that in a minute right after we check this in. Here's a preview of the audit history. We can see the version has been incremented. We see we have some deletions and changes and a preview showing the time of the change, who made the change, previous value and new values. You can also add comments such as work order numbers or who made the request. Now let's look at the audit history report. This makes it easy to share with change management committees or management a spreadsheet showing exactly what was changed and who made those changes. You can test management packs. This is a simulation, but based on collecting real-time data from production servers. The management pack doesn't even have to exist in your management group. We can see the alerts as they occurred in time, events, and here's the resultant set of alerts showing the alert volume. 20% of your rules and monitors will generate 80% of your alerts. MP Studio test feature makes it very easy to pinpoint those chatty rules and monitors. When you're ready to deploy a management pack, you can run the group comparison. 
This will compare each management group and all management packs to the same management packs in the store database. From here, select the management pack you wish to deploy and you can actually remediate or synchronize management pack versions across multiple management groups. Many people ask, how can I tell what's running on my server? The next feature we'll look at is the ability to report on the workflow for any given management group or any given agent. The workflow will show all rules, monitors, and discoveries running on the agent. Here we can see how many management packs have at least one monitor, and this particular management pack is showing the shaded blue area showing the overrides associated with a given rule or monitor.